Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Have you ever think how you can print your PDF from the Revit? This is not so simple task as you know. And what you know about the PDF expert from the Revit, we have a lot of the choices. And today I will show you one of the choices how you can export your PDF from the Revit. Let's get started. As you know, when we are going to the print in our Revit, we have the, a lot of the choices of the printers here and which one we should use, which the best. And today I will show you one of the solution what you have right now. So, uh, welcome, this is Wondershare PDF element, you can get it for free or you can buy it right now on this site. The site you will find uh, below this video on the description. So, okay, let's go back from the PDF element to the, our Revit and and let's see what we can do. As you can see, we can choose now Wondershare PDF element right here on the name and we can use it as the printer. This is virtual printer to convert your file to the PDF. Let's say we wanna print this uh, drawing sheet. As you can see, this is A A1. Like as you can see, this is A1 view. Let's go to the file, we will go to the print and you will find here, if you will install Wondershare PDF element, you will find here the printer Wondershare PDF element. Let's choose it up. You don't need to uh, do any settings, only here the settings setup. Let's go here inside, just choose your paper, landscape one, uh, change zoom from the fit to page to the zoom uh, 100 scale because we should know this is our drawing, it's exactly on the 100% of the scaling so let's say okay and now you can go to the preview before you will start print as you can see everything perfect and let's print it up let's print it up let's say okay just few seconds just wait a few seconds uh, Revit now sending it to the PDF element and after that PDF element will open up and we will we can make some changes there so it's already here as you can see uh, it's working now and we just waiting our uh, changes from the Revit as you can see it's here so what we can do here you can for example send it to the uh, Word Excel uh, to the PowerPoint if you want on the some other type of the files as you can see the here is really a lot or you can um, uh, combine for example this view let's print it out one more uh, one more PDF so let's go back and let's print it one more time again. Um, everything same, let's say okay, just few, wait a few, few seconds. Uh, it's not will take much time. Uh, okay, so it's out. Let's go back to the our um, PDF element and you will, will see now one more tab here. Just few seconds, done. So this is one more tab here. Let's combine this file and you can add some, for, for example, files from the outside. So you can print it out and you can combine it. So, uh, for example, I will open up already my PDF, what I did before. Let's open up, just file, open, just browse. And I will go to the my uh, desktop, I will find here my PDF, it's here. Uh, let's open up, as you can see here, the, a lot of pages. We can go to the page tab and you will see all the pages. And for example, I don't want this view, just delete. I don't want this view, just delete. And we get this view. And uh, for example, I want to add some uh, new drawings, let's say this one uh, I wanna extract it inside to the one uh, to the new one let's extract it let's say okay so it's here and let's now uh, put it inside uh, insert to the our PDF document so I will save it first save as to the PC uh, let's save it on desktop and uh, let's say this is my name of the new file just a second and let's insert here on the new document let's go to the insert blank pages or just from the PDF I will use the from the PDF uh, let's find our new uh, drawing so where is it uh -huh, this is pages from tiny building let's say okay and uh, here there are some small uh, settings uh, it's really simple how many pages and the uh, uh, like if you, you want to rotate or no and as you can see it's already here and I want to place it for example not uh, on the number two I want to place it on the last one just drag and drop on the last one done and we can make label the pages if you want here just go to the label pages stylus of the label as you want uh, let's say I don't want any uh, label of the pages and I will do for example for all this one just pages and I'll say none let's say okay so not any pages and after that just save on your PC just save it 
a few seconds it's already done let's open up and let's see what we get let's open open and we will find the new one so this is copy let's open up as you can see uh, if you will go for example to the view or the home not, not different you will get our new drawing it's really really cool and it's really fast so by this way uh, you can use for example uh, this uh, PDF element uh, to create for example as you can see now I can uh, arrange one by one this is now different list uh, or I can uh, for example do it's on, on one vertically let's make it vertically and you can change whatever you want so of course, you can create some comments if you want, because, for example, sometimes you need to create some of the comments. You can choose, for example, this template, the rectangular things, and let's say this is something wrong, and use the text and say the wrong, let's say this wrong. You can make this some stamps, for example, the void, here should be void. As you can see, we have already some typical names. For example, and this is only the draft. Uh, we are already using on the Revit, but uh, if, for example, if you forgot, you can make it. This is only draft. So, and use whatever you want here. Here, a lot of the things you can even create your own stamps, let's say. And you can edit, for example, you forgot to uh, put the watermark or your printing out, it's not working well you can use the crop view here and you can crop it right right like this let's say and let's crop it and as you can see we don't have now uh, this big gap in this side for example if you don't need uh, print it out after that PDF so that's it for today thank you for watching guys and see you next time to support my channel you can go to Gumroad check that my store there you can find bottle of this dynamo script or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.